Bonjour, I'm Jean Lalonde, the developer of Quick Access Pop-Up. Welcome to this video where I will show you what is new in version 10 of Quick Access Pop-Up. We will see the changes in the Customize window, this window that was previously called the, the Settings window. We will see the new Options window and various improvements uh, to Quick Access Pop-Up. First, I will show you the uh, comparison of the uh, Settings window before with this new Customize window window now. So the goal of these changes was to give more room to your list of uh, favorites. So you see on the right side, you have close to 50% more room now for your favorites. And to do that, I move some of the options and buttons and links that were in this window. I move them under this new menu bar that you have here at the top of your customized window. The other change was to move this search box here under the list, the drop down list of your menu here. So you have this button here if you want to reveal the uh, search box to do a search when you need it. So we'll see it in action in a second. So let's return here and open this customize window here. So as before, you can open it for your menu. You can also open it from uh, by right clicking the icon, the quick access pop up icon and choose customize. That's two ways to open this uh, window. Uh, you see here the new menu with these sub menus. There are five sub menus. These sub menus are also available from the system menu again here. So you have the same features here available. So you use it the way you prefer. In the file submenu, you have items that allow you to save your changes and to manage your quick access pop-up settings file. So if I do a change here, it will enable the capability to save or save and close uh, the, the customized window. So that's and you can also use it to restart quick access pop-up or quit it if you need to. Under the favorite menu, you have um, uh, uh, commands that for most of them are also available using the buttons on the right side here or these buttons on the left side here. But if you prefer to use the menu uh, or to use the shortcut, because there's a lot of shortcuts now that are available and you see them on the right side, you can use it in the favorite menu here. Under the tools menu, you have the capability to uh, open the search uh, window here, but I will show you that you can also do it by clicking this loop here and here it will reveal the, um, the search box. So if I type something here, it will show you the favorites that includes this in the name or if you click extended search it will show you the favorites that in includes what you search in any of the properties of the favorites you can hit the x button here to close the search box and return to the drop down list of your sub menus so this can also be available from the tools menu here and you have access to things that were available before using buttons at the bottom. For example, the shortcuts window here will show you all your shortcuts in one list in, um, in this window. Uh, same thing for odd string, for icons and various uh, commands that were available before under the system menu uh, are available here. Under options, so here is completely redesigned uh, with all the changes and addition of new options. Uh, over time, the uh, the set the options window became very uh, busy, so I redesigned the whole thing with uh, these uh, ten or twelve sections here. The first one is general, where you can choose your language and various general options. One new option here is the settings folder. Uh, first, I uh, must say that for new users now, the uh, and I'm talking here only for those who are installing Quick Access Pop-Up using the Easy Setup program. Um, before, the settings were saved under the uh, user folder, users, your name, uh, app data, roaming, so something very deep. Uh, and to make it easier for users to find their settings and copy them if they need to move it to a new computer or to make a backup, it's now saved uh, by default under the My Documents folder. 
in uh, in Windows. Uh, so this is for new users. For existing users, settings will stay at the same place, but you can use this option here to browse and move your settings to a new location. For example, here I'm moving it to a folder here and there are, you have two choices uh, if you want to move your settings to a new location you will e you will copy here so your settings will be copied to the new location and if you it uh, if you, what you want is to use the settings that would already exist in the new location you can click the new button so this is explained here so that's now this possibility to change the settings uh, folder under customize window, you have options that are related to this uh, window here. There's one new option, which is open customize window at startup. Um, it will allow and it is turned on by default for new users. So uh, they can easily change their menu uh, that way. And when they are comfortable with their menu, they can turn this off and open the settings or the, the customize window only when they need it. For existing users, it will be turned off and you can check this if you prefer to have the window open when you launch quick access pop-up now all the options related to your menu icons to the menu appearance and where it will be displayed to the um, uh, menu um, yeah other menu uh, pop-up menu options the hot keys that will open your menu using the mouse or using the keyboard same thing for the alternative menu hot keys uh, the file managers, if you use uh, directory opus or total commander or other file managers uh, than Windows Explorer, you can set this here. Snippet and hot strings options here. The user variables, all this is the same as it was before, but it's just displayed differently. The database options. And here, most of them are options that were available before only by editing the quick access pop-up.ini file. But for now, now you can uh, edit these options directly from the options window. So these are the changes in the options window. Now, last uh, submenu is the help menu. So of course, there's the short help that is always available here. You can hit Control H to open this window also if you wish. Uh, you um, have the more uh, complete uh, help that can be found on the quick access pop-up website, the knowledge base, the support forum. You have this list of shortcuts here. I show you that you have shortcuts that are available now and you see them on the right side here of the submenus. But there's a list here of all these shortcuts and you can press F1 to display this window where you, if you like to use your keyboard, it's now and it's been before but it's, it's now even more easy and efficient to edit your your favorites using uh, your keyboard what else in there the help menu uh, various options and and of course if you want to help me uh, producing quick access pop-up paying for expenses that I have uh, by uh, for, to distribute quick access pop-up for example I need to pay for uh, uh, a certificates uh, one for the uh, the code uh, the code signing so something that make the installation file uh, uh, secure if you download it from my site so that's one certificate I have to pay the other one is the certificate for the, um, the website itself so an SSL certificate for the HTTPS so these are expenses I have to pay every year so uh, please help me uh, pay for that by sponsoring a quick access pop-up you have various ways to help me here and when you receive the code that I will send you if you send me a donation of five dollars or five euros or more uh, you have a window here where where you can enter the the sponsor code that I will send you by email you enter your code and your sponsor name for those who already made a donation, you will see in the message at the bottom of the window here, please update your code. You will not have to make me a new donation. All you have to do is to contact me, give me some information. You have a link here that will help you doing that. And for new users, this link is to invite you to make, to make a donation to sponsor Quick Access Pop-Up. 
I reviewed most of the changes. I have a few other changes that I want to show you here when you uh, add a favorite of type quick access pop-up feature. You can uh, previously, you have this list here, previously you could select your, uh, your feature here, but you could not change its name. Now the name can be edited. Uh, you can make it shorter, make it the way you like, but um, uh, also very useful is that you can now use it to insert a keyboard accelerator by putting an ampersand before any letter of your menu it will make this menu being i will save it being underscore and when you open your menu using the keyboard shortcut windows w by default you will see that there's an underscore under the c here so it means that this item can now be opened by hitting the, the letter c in this case so no need to use the the mouse so again for those that like to work with their keyboard it can be very convenient to use the um, these accelerators so it can be used in any type of favorite but it now can also be used in the um, for the quick access pop-up uh, features what else um uh, yes in this window here you have all the quick access pop-up features group by categories and but if you already know the name of the quick access pop-up feature you want to add you can now uh, look at it in the all alphabetical order list so you have all the favorites uh, the the features here so you can uh, select it in this list when you know the name of the feature you want to add and that's the same um, addition has been made to the special folder list so you have here the five uh, or s five sections five categories but all the windows special folders and there are close to 50 of them that are available in this alphabet alphabetical list here when you want to add a quick uh, a special folder to your menu so i think that covered everything i will just return to my notes here I mentioned about the uh, new customized window, the search button, the feature, uh, it, it able to edit the menu, the all special folder, all, all quick access pop-up. You press F1 to see the list of the new shortcuts. I've showed you the new options window with this open customized window at startup option, also the capability to change the settings folder. And uh, I didn't mention it, but uh, um, I would say most of the time I work on version 10 is for things that you will not see because I rewrote more than half of the code of quick access pop-up using a more modern and convenient technique called uh, object oriented. So this will make the code easier to maintain it. It will also make it easier to add new features in the future. So um, you won't see it, but it's... Uh, it's something that will have a value in the future and finally i already mentioned that uh, there's a new donor code and invite existing donor to contact me to update uh, their code and for those who didn't i invite you to help me uh, to sponsor a quick access pop-up to help me pay for my expenses so I, I hope this video was uh, helpful for you. I invite you to uh, find more information on the Quick Access Pop-Up website www.quickaccesspopup.com and I thank you for your attention.